Hello, curious! Just 20 miles from Crete, in now the picturesque Bay of Mirabello, lies a tiny island of Spinalongo, which is now an extremely popular tourist attraction. This rocky patch of land has a rich but terrifying history, full of suffering and tears, and it was here that the last leper colony in Europe once existed. Seemingly nice to be a paradise for the sick, but in fact turned out to be hell for them. Some historians have even called Spinalonga a concentration camp, and the Island of the Living Dead has also been called that, but what exactly happened there many years ago? And how were the lepers there ruthlessly treated? And why were they condemned to a slow death in agony and away from their families? What had to happen for this horror to end? Stay with us until the very end to get to know the darkest corners of the map of our continent, and if you are on this channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, click on the notifications, and give us a thumbs up under this episode. Episode. Let's get started. Spinalonga used to be a part of Crete, but had a huge earthquake and pulled it away from the largest Greek island, and in the 16th century was a fortress that was built on a small piece of land that was created in this way, and it was nicknamed the Invincible for a reason. And when the Turkish troops conquered Crete in 1669, Greek troops in Spinalonga successfully resisted the invaders for the next several decades, and it was only in 1715 that the island was attacked, and until 1903 it was a part of the Ottoman Empire. And the the Greeks finally managed to regain it, but it ceased to fulfill its military function, and the authorities of Crete decided that due to its location, it would be perfect as a leprosarium, a secluded settlement for lepers, and it was the last camp of this type established in Europe for over the last 50 years of its operation, and it became a home for thousands of patients. And it was supposed to be a quiet place where the infected would be treated, qualified medical personnel would watch over their fate, and even a chance to create a real community of people that were affected by lepra. And however, it soon turned out that Spinalonga was nothing more than a prison from which there was no escape. And from the moment the colony was opened in 1903, there were several hundred of people in a small area, and there were times when there was no cure for leprosy, and the sick were persecuted and thrown out for their own social margin, and the cause of the infection was unknown, and it was even believed that disease was nothing more than a biblical punishment for sins. So such beliefs were born in the early Middle Ages, and then the lepers, though almost, were out of rights, and they were called the living dead, forced to leave their families and wear rags to cover their bodies, on which there were visible signs of the disease that would, you know, you could see them. It had a characteristic symptom of the infection that were ulcers that heal with difficulty, deformation of the limbs and facial features, as well as blindness. And it is known today that leprosy, also known as lepra or Hansen's disease, is caused by a bacterial infection, namely leprosy bacchelia, attacking the nerves and the respiratory tract, the skin and eyes. And the infection occurs most often through the droplets and the infection of mainly the exposed to the people with weak immune systems and those living in areas where there is no access to clean water for medical help, so which caused the disease to spread quickly. And even in the mid-1980s, leprosy suffered, you know, people as many as 12 million per year. And that was worldwide, and nowadays infections are much less common thanks to the medication and medical treatments recommended by the World Health Organization. However, before the causes of the disease were known and more closely the cures for leprosy were discovered, the disease was widely disgusted and dreaded, and the sick were isolated on the outskirts of towns and villages placed on the leprosariums such as in Spinalonga, and the sick were sent to the island to leave this world in agony, and they were brought in handcuffs like prisoners and under the escort of the Crete police. In addition, people with minor diseases such as psoriasis were also sent there, and because of their doctors at the time, Mick diagnosed their diseases with leprosy. And the sick and inhuman conditions on the island, you know, the steep slopes of the numerous stairs, made it impossible for people with deformed limbs to move. So for this reason, most often, there were many unable to reach the spacious houses located in the deep of Spinalonga, and therefore the crowded into the small buildings that were closer to the coast. And the island had electricity and even running water, and its only source was old cisterns and dirty, and they were like full of germs. The colony lacked basic medications, painkillers, or disinfectants, and moreover, there were no doctors who were theoretically supposed to live in Spinalonga, but in practice, they came from ships to, from the mainland to occasionally visit the sick, and suppliers of food and goods decided to travel to the colony for only a high fee, otherwise no one would risk even their health. And even the families of the infected rarely came to visit because of the terrifying stories circulating around the island, and the only healthy inhabitants were there, of course, the guards, and since they were usually recruited among 
among other convicts and ex-criminals, there was more than one persecution and abuse of the sick. This ultimately contributed to the rebellion of the inhabitants, thanks to which the brutal guards were removed and the authorities of the leprosarium, and with time even more sick people from the various parts of Greece began to reach the camp and because, you know, among them were others uh, for the educated and wealthy people of Athens, the island was slowly changing and the possibility of opening shops, cafes, you know, they were fighting for that and the conditions for residential housing were improved and the first temples were even built and the first primitive hospital was with staff was established in 1937, and over 30 years after the colony was established, over time the inhabitants created their own community whose members even got married, but one of the most important or one of the most dramatic practices was taking their children from them as soon as they turned out that they were born healthy, and journalists reaching to the island quickly discovered that its inhabitants, despite the introduced amenities, still could only count on a bit of normality, and many patients still had no access to medical care, there was no shortage of neglect, and the dead were buried in nameless graves, and food was scarce and crops were hard to come by on the sandy soils. Spinalonga also went through a tragic period during World War II. Although the Germans occupying Crete did not dare to enter its territory and fearing the plague, the inhabitants paid for this time with hunger, and all the deliveries were suspended. Water was scarce and doctors did not even reach the sick for months at times, and the occupants guarded the shores of the island from a distance and shot at anyone who dared to flee Spinalonga, hoping that this would save themselves from starvation. And when the war ended, the first cure for leprosy was discovered in America. America. But the authorities did not know what to do with the convalescents, and some inhabitants even refused to leave the island themselves, fearing that they would never be accepted into society. However, over time, the place was getting emptied even more and more, and those least affected with it had moved to Crete. And the lepers, in very poor condition, suffering from body deformities and blindness, were placed in Greek hospitals in Agia Varva. So this leper colony on Spinalonga finally closed in 1957, and nobody has lived on the island since then, and now it's an extremely popular tourist attraction in that part of the world, and the stories about the camp, including the inspiration to write a novel entitled The Island by Victoria Hislop, and the filming of the documentary Last Words by Werner Herzog, in addition to only a few preserved historical sources, tell about the suffering history of Spinalonga, and the cursed leper island from which it was impossible to get out alive. So tell me. Would you like to see this abandoned place? Do you know any other tourist attractions that have equally sad and unbelievable histories? Please let us know in the comments below and don't forget about a subscription and a thumbs up. Until next time!